If you've seen Parafractic's video about the mystery VIC-42 chip that showed up on eBay, this is a response and some additional information. I've got a VIC-42 on hand and some information about the company, and we're going to do alcohol and acetone testing, starting right now. When I saw the video about the mysterious VIC-42 chips on Retro Recipes, I was intrigued. I noticed that the seller was local, so I did a little digging about the company. It looks like they've been around since 2005 and specialize in selling salvage and new old stock parts to civilian and military customers for the maintenance of legacy systems that are still in use today. Based on all the information I could find in the state registries and online, I truly believe that if these chips are fake, they had nothing to do with it. I do want to point out that in my last video, I said that this spot had a very special pair of guests coming. Just for the record, this is not them. This is an unexpected visitor who's joined me here. Um, picked this up at a garage sale. And my shop is a total disaster right now. I wasn't planning to be shooting this video because we're having a garage sale of our own this weekend. So everything that doesn't belong in the garage sale is packed in my shop. Um, but I'll tell you guys a little bit about this in a short video coming up next week. Let's take a look and see what's in here. Nicely packaged. Give them that. There you go. Proudly service the aerospace, military, industrial, and commercial industries. Here's the chip. Okay, Moss Vic 42, 9 of 83. Made in Korea. These pins don't look like they've been pulled out of anything. They do look NOS. So what I thought I would do is go ahead and pull out my dead bits. And I thought I'd start off with a little alcohol. And I'm doing this as a baseline. So what happens when we hit the, the original Moss chips with alcohol? So nothing on the Q-tip. Try some acetone and see what that does on the original chips. And again, Q-tip's clean, so the acetone doesn't seem to affect the original writing at all. Now, I'm going to start with, again, clean Q-tip, a little bit of alcohol, and I'm going to hit the black areas around the writing. Nothing at all. So now I'm going to hit the date with the alcohol. It doesn't seem to have any effect. Q-tip's clean. All right, so now I guess this is where the rubber hits the road. Hitting the sides with the acetone, no effect. I'm just going to hit the 9 in the number on the bottom. Q-tip's clean, and so is the text is fine. So these definitely do not meet the, uh, the typical fake where you can just rub the printing off. I have to agree with Parafractic. I don't think these are fake. I suspect what they are is prototypes, either for a game machine that was canceled in the mid 80s, or perhaps just a prototype that either never went anywhere or were incorporated into another chip like the VIC-3. Here's a link to the Retro Recipes short that brought these chips to my attention, and you might like to check out these videos.